filho fiz oração. Ah, que mal. Cinco vezes por dia. O que a gente está fazendo de oração, meus irmãos? Que não é bom. É bom para a saúde, é bom para você, é bom para que você está comunicando a Deus. Por isso, o profeta disse, Allah não aceita nada se não seja bom. Hum? Então, Deus é bom e não aceita nada que não seja bom. E Deus manda que os fiéis cumpram, assim como manda que façam seus mensageiros, dizendo, ó oh, mensageiros. Essa palavra é só para os mensageiros agora. Como falamos no sermão, tem palavra aqui só de jamento para os mensageiros de Allah, tem palavra aqui para os muçulmanos, tem palavra para os é, crentes. E tem palavra só para o mundo inteiro. Essa palavra para os mensageiros, hein? Ó oh, mensageiros. The Brazilians and their black. Islam doesn't run in their families, all converted months or years ago. By taking up Islam, they believe they've found solutions to the problems plaguing their slums and suburbs, starting with drugs. The Muslim countries don't have such big drug problems as in Brazil or in Europe or in the West. I'm not saying the Muslim community doesn't have problems. But its problems don't cause the death of so many teenagers or of so many people of African origin or the poor. Da morte de tantos adolescentes, de tanto afrodescendente, de tanta população de baixa renda. On São Paulo's outskirts, hit by crime and unemployment, hip hop introduced them to Islam. Rap already put Afro-Brazilian aspirations to music. Now it's a tool for conversion. Também falo sério, chegar de preto aprisionado ou em cemitério, pois já não é mistério, tem sido assim no mundo, um jovem negro assassinado a cada segundo, e o que eles dizem é inadmissível, é foda ver que o racismo já tá nesse nível, e quando a gente brinca, a arma deles mata, amando de sionistas que vestem gravata. Rejected by society, they learned about black Muslim slaves rebelling in Brazil's past. They identify with Islam, and the rap makes them feel like they belong to a community. With rap, we can use everyday expressions to reach people who need Islam, who need to be able to say no to drugs, no to war with our brothers, and to be able to hold your head high against the police without owing anything. Some, like Malik, dream of Brazil becoming an Islamic country where alcohol and pork are banned and where women in veils aren't stared at. Islam is spreading really fast in Brazil. We're seeing a lot of people converting to Islam, looking to Islam for knowledge and to assert religious beliefs. I don't see any obstacle in its way. I don't think it's a fantasy to believe Brazil might become an Islamic state in the next few decades. There's no official count of how many Muslims live in Brazil. But the number of mosques and prayer rooms shows the progression. In less than a decade, they have grown fourfold to more than 100 today. To people here doesn't want us to be aware of what was the Malay insurgents, the revolt, because they think, oh, we are going to tell these people that they are able to to make some kind of. Uh, insurgents and, oh, okay, yeah. and get the power for themselves and so they keep it that hidden the most they can. You know. Assalamu Mr. Akani. How long have you been in Niger um, Brazil for? Walaikum salam, more than 20 years. More now. than 20 years. And how do you find, I, I, I can see that you've got your own business, a hotel and a shop. How do you find doing business in, in Brazil as a Nigerian? Ah, it is a nice place to, to live. Nice people, beautiful country too. Very hospitable, hospitable, and they welcome Africans very well. Right. Yes, like an extension of Nigeria. Okay. You no, know, so many years back they brought some of our forefathers to this place. Among them were Muslims too. Mm -hmm. They used to call the Malays. Uh, ah. So they were the ones that introduced Islam to Brazil. <laughs> My name is Abdul Wali Maron. I am Muslim since 10 years and I am uh, in Brazil. I was born in Brazil. 
And I think that the Brazilian community, the Brazilian people, they still don't know Islam. They still, Islam is a stranger, like in the Hadith of the Prophet, Islam is born as a stranger, continues as a stranger. So I think the challenge for the Muslims in Brazil is to make that Islam is not anymore a stranger to the Brazilians. So Brazil has to know true Islam, has to know the love of Islam, has to know how, uh, how nice the Muslims can be. So also the Brazilian, the, Mus the Brazilian Muslims, they have to make an effort to reach to the hearts of people through uh, the peace that Islam can bring. So it's time to the Brazilian Muslims to introduce themselves, to be uh, courageous, to show themselves as a people of peace. So I hope, inshallah, that we will become more and more known here and also we will, be, we will try to make the bond of love between Brazilian people, uh, Catholics, every, every religion should unite right now for peace and love and for the common value that we have shared by the faith and the true God.